Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this quote of the week video, which will touch base on the topic of forcing something into existence, right? Forcing something into being outer actions and working with your mind, working with your will, will instead of first of all, inwardly making the shift, right? Which is what many people struggle with and they try to change things on the outside, do other actions, do more of this, do even more techniques and to focus more on doing instead of being the thing desired. Big difference and also obviously then the big difference in getting results or not getting results. So uh, let's look at the quote from Neville Goddard and I'm, I'm going to explain this to you. So Neville said a really wise and absolutely true thing. He said, you cannot force anything outwardly by the mightiest effort of the will, right? Your, your mind, your rational thinking, your, your doing, your action but you can't force something externally. There is only one way you can comment the things you want, and that is by assuming the consciousness of the things desired. So by assuming that you already have them, you already live inwardly as you would live if that would already be a natural part of your life. There is a vast difference between feeling a thing and merely knowing it intellectually, right? Feeling, again, not an emotional feeling, but more so an inner subtle conviction that something is as you want it to be, an inner naturalness, an inner certainty, an inner subtle subjective knowing than an intellectual knowing. Oh, oh yeah, of, of course, yeah, yeah. But actually, do you really feel like it? But I could, you know, shake your hand and smile in your face and externally be really nice, but inwardly feel absolute like envy and, and, and hate and don't like you and wish that you are not successful, right? I could smile, but still feel this inwardly. So what true, what is true is how I am inwardly and not what is going on on the surface level intellectually, okay? So what is what is devil saying here? The really important key point is in this first sentence, right? Is that you cannot force anything outwardly if you put in a lot of effort in your actions and you work harder, right? Someone that is in the state of lack and wants to grow a successful business, no matter what strategies this person seeks, no matter what new action they try, no matter what approach they follow, no matter how long they work in a day and force themselves to do more work, they will not produce the desired results, right? Because they haven't shifted inwardly in, in abundance, in a successful state, right? So in, in a sense, in order to win the battle, you first of all have to win first before you go in the battle. I hope that makes sense, right? In order to win the game, you first have already internally have won the game and like, it's like that then you go in the game to actually win it. But you don't, you won't win it if you try to approach it and, you know, feel that you are a loser, feel that you're not worthy, feel that you're unsuccessful. If you then try to approach something externally, no matter what you do, it won't lead to new results. So you cannot force anything, right? And you also cannot force anything into being. No matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, right? This is not your job to rationally find out the next action step, to rationally find out the perfect way, to rationally come up with the perfect way of how this could unfold and what you should do. That's not your concern. That's simply not your job. And if you do that, you will see that you will stay very limited just because of the limitations of the mind. So you can bypass that by going straight to the end to you having already achieved your goal if you know that imagining creates reality. And if you know that when you imagine that, you will be moved automatically across a bridge of incidents that is going to, you know, externalize that state that you already lift in inwardly for you. So that's also why Neville is saying here, there's only one way you can comment the things you want, aka you can, you know, bring the things you want into manifestation, bring them into the flesh, bring them from the invisible, right, from your imagination, from the invisible reality, also in this manifested world. And that is by right, as you can, as you can already know by watching this channel, by watching my videos, is by assuming the consciousness, right, by assuming the, what would the feeling be like, right, how would I see the world, what would my inner mood be like, or, you know, just, just what would it be like if it would, were already true, that is basically by you assuming that, that is how you can comment slash manifest the things you desire, Right, you first have to assume it. If you are not in the state that you try to express and you try to work forward, you work against yourself, right? You work against your own limitations. You work against yourself. You work against the nature of manifestation, right? Neville said, you know, in order to be successful, you should not imitate the actions of the successful, but their viewpoint of already being successful. And when you 
live in that viewpoint of I have already achieved X, Y, and Z, then you will be led automatically. Again, it's a delusion that you will have free will across all these things that are going to happen to lead you up to the externalization of that state. No, you go to the end and then, like Neville said, wonderfully, you will be moved. Everything that happens to you will happen automatically. That is how the law of assumption works. That is how imagining creates reality works. Your only job in all of that, in this whole game, is to go to the end and let infinite intelligence, let your true self, let imagination, let consciousness, let awareness do the job for you. Right? If you remain loyal to that end, loyal to the unseen reality, loyal in that state, it will externalize and express naturally, wonderfully, automatically for you. And again, to conclude that, right, there is a difference to, are you actually convinced about it? Is it actually natural for you? Is it actually, you know, a certain to you? Do you actually know it, this inner, subtle, concrete knowing, the subjective faith? Or is it, you know, just intellectually in your mind that, oh yeah, I think I will be rich, but actually you feel lack. Or yeah, I think I, I might heal sometime, but actually you feel absolutely, you know, ill and like having symptoms and you react towards them, right? And same with relationship, right? Do you know that you are already happily partnered? You are already in this desired relationship that you want to be in? Do you know it, right? And therefore you stop reacting, or do you say it, but still look for signs, still look for proof, still look for any results and progress? How could you do that if you would already live in the end? You would not do that, right? It's like an it's like an it's like a conflict. You cannot search for something that you already have. You cannot look for signs for something that you already are. So when you do all of these things, you are not it actually internally, subjectively, for yourself. So that is the main message of this quote of the week is that you can't force anything. You should not start and try and ask yourself, what can you change about your actions? How can you work harder? How can you work more? How can you do this and that? Because when you do that, it probably won't lead to anything. First, before outer actions can change, because they're tied to your state. Please don't forget this, right? As soon as the state changes, your actions will automatically be different compared to, you know, this old state. So don't do any actions and try to, with that, shift your state. No, shift your state and then the actions will follow from that. State comes first, then your actions will change, your thoughts, your beliefs, your assumptions, your results, and automatically the manifestations that you get in your life. Our job is to know what we want and go straight to the end. You can keep this in your mind forever, for the rest of your life, because this is how it works, right? And we can make it easy by then when we know what we want, assuming how it would be like, how we would feel like, how we would see the world, how our friends would see us, our family, our spouse, whoever it is, how would they see us if we were already this desired version of us? And then we can close our eyes and let them see us in that light, let them see us in that way, because this then confirms that we are it. This then is the confirmation that, yeah, I am already in that state. And the more you do that, the more naturally it will become, the more you will start to live in it, like just subtle internally you won't even notice that and the more your life will express that to you so if you have any questions please definitely leave them in the comments down below i always look through the comments and here and there if i have time like to reply to some of the questions and if you want to you know integrate neville's teachings in your life then you know that i have two links to help you on that next to the like youtube channel and next to the instagram account neville got success you can just watch the free masterclass that I prepared for you. It's a 30 minute masterclass, it's free. And it just requires an email sign up and you will also be notified whenever I release a new video. There is no spam or anything like that. And if you are serious and you want to take these teachings, right, Neville's principles, which by the way are not even Neville's principles because that is a life principle. That is always the case that as within, so without. Right? Whatever you imagine, that is how your life will play out. But if you want to take these principles that Neville explained in a really nice way and make them more effortlessly in your life and make and apply them consciously in your life instead of letting them run on autopilot, instead of letting your unconscious part of yourself manifest undesirable things and you want to master these te teachings, then you can apply for a free 45-minute call with Upgrade Your Life so that we can, you know, find out if we are a good fit to work together, if we resonate, and then I can tell you more about the Upgrade Your Life program. So with that, I conclude this video. Don't try to force things on the outside. Don't try to force actions, do actions. Acting as if is not the solution. I do have a video 
I will link this above right now. It's called acting as if it's not enough because you need to be it first before you can be it externally, right? You have to be it inwardly before you can get it externally. So that's it for this quote of the week. Speak to you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.